Hey friends, in this video we're going to be talking all about the Big More Big Four Conditioner. Now friends, this has a wild reputation of not darkening the leather and it's also known to be the best out there by many for a smooth skin leather. They say right on the bottle that it conditions, it cleans, it polishes and protects. So those of us looking for that patina, you know that heritage line boot, this is right up our alley. I like to say that it has a stamp of approval from the gentleman's journey because it's that run and gun stuff. If it's gonna take care of all those for me in one bottle, I'm gonna grab this and it'll often be my go-to. There's no reason you can't do something in a hurry and still be a gentleman about it. That's why I keep coming to Big Four and that's why I'm excited to tell you guys about it. Now, as far as the ingredients list, thankful to good old California, they had this lawsuit or some kind of case they won where they had the right to know act. And what that's done is it's given us a little insight into the ingredients here. Now, just like Big Four, California isn't even gonna pull everything out of them, but it's given us some insight. And so I'm gonna drop a link in the description to this kind of safety data sheet. It talks all about what they released and the little information they'll give us. Guys, I'm not a chemist. I'm not gonna get through all these things, but there's some solvents, there's some cleaners, there's some conditioners, and of course there's that needs for oil. Now that's what's gonna make it be really similar to Red Wings Leather Cream. And there's another ingredient in there that I don't think you guys are gonna like, and that's the silicone. Now the redeeming factor to this stuff, of course, is the Neats Foot Oil. From what I understand, it's a small amount of silicone, but that's still gonna send some guys running. Uh, thanks for California, we got the peak in there. But Big Four has always said that there's no waxes in this stuff, and so for them, what the wax does is it actually builds up a layer and it prevents this stuff or other kind of creams and conditioners to get in there and deeply penetrate the leather. They claim that the waxes, of course other guys do too, the wax actually builds up a layer, it clogs the pores and it won't let them condition well. A lot of these type of leathers, we're not putting waxes afterwards anyways. You want the oil tan leathers, you want them to breathe, the veg tan, you want them to breathe. And so this conditioner right here works great for that purpose. Again, guys, I'm not a chemist. You're gonna have to go do your homework and research some of the things on this ingredients list, but at least we got to peek in there a little bit. Now, friends, I have a sneaky suspicion, and I think some of you do too, according to the videos and some of the internet feeds that I've seen, that this stuff is actually the same product as the Cadillac leather cream. Now, if you just take a look at the bottles side to side, you're gonna see some similarities. And then you take a look at the back and they're actually both made in the same town, which is Whitmore Lake, Michigan. They're under different company names, but many have said that the chemicals in there react the same, that they condition and polish about the same. Uh, of course, some guys say, no, not at all. There's a huge difference. But at any rate, guys, it might be, it might not be. It's not a comparison video. But also, Big More, you know, they have some other products that you should check out. They have the Big One, which is their leather cleaner. So as we talked about, sometimes you're gonna wanna clean these. That's a good option to run, you know, keeping consistency throughout the products. They have some waxes. They have different creams and stuff that are gonna go along with this, some uh, protector that goes over the top of this if you need some more winter protection. I'll drop a link to all that stuff below. And of course, a link to this stuff if you wanna check it out. If you make a purchase through that, it's an affiliate link. I get a little kickback and it doesn't cost you any extra. It just helps me get out of my nine to five and keep bringing videos just like this. I'm finding this stuff for about $17 for eight ounces. Of course, that's about $2 an ounce. So you can't kick too much on that. It's one of the cheapest conditioners on the market. Now we've done a really good job of covering all the pros. Don't forget, it's not gonna darken your leather. It penetrates really deeply and it conditions and moisturizes your leather like none other. But of course, like anything in the world, there's lots of cons. And so this doesn't have too many, but just to mention a couple, if you're looking for that deep winter protection, you're probably not gonna find it here. Now, Big Moore's thought of that. That's of course why they have their weather protector, some of the solvents that you can put on top of this conditioner, and it's gonna hold back some of those waters, some of the snow and stuff like that. Again, guys, you might have to think about whether you want a different boot for a different purpose for different parts of the season. These are gonna get you 
uh, from the car to work over shopping, maybe a few light puddles and stuff like that. But if you're traipsing through the woods, if you're going out hunting, you're probably gonna want a different boot or run a different conditioner altogether. So let's get into the fun stuff. Let's put this on our hands and get after it on these boots. Now friends, I grabbed some of my Roughnecks, the 2942s by Red Wing, uh, but this stuff can go on anything. Throw it on your couch, throw it on some handbags, whatever you got, uh, it's gonna do great. Just like any conditioner, they say, I'll grab that. They say grab a little spot in the back, maybe somewhere where you don't really want it's not gonna affect anything, <clears throat> even though it's not gonna darken the leather. It's probably a good rule of thumb, especially if you're running it on something wild or exotic. But guys, I've already cleaned these boots in a different video, and so I'm gonna start pouring some on. I'm gonna use my hands. Uh, often I like to use a rag or something, an old t-shirt, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with my hands. Guys, if you haven't cleaned them in a couple times, definitely, hit it with a horsehair brush and clean off, get all the debris off. But again, these things are clean, so they're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna pay attention to the tongue around all these eyelids and speed hooks. And we're gonna work our way down the vamp, across the front, and make sure and get the sides really well. This is just like you guys have done a thousand million times, nothing new here. And make sure we're gonna get into those stitches and that welt. And you know, if you wanna grab like a little dauber brush, some kind of small, even maybe an old soft bristle toothbrush or something, if you're really concerned you wanna get in that welt, that's not gonna be a problem either. Uh, I like to break out all my boots, maybe on a Sunday afternoon watching the game or whatever you guys watch on TV and do them all at once if you can. If you have a boot that's particularly dirty, maybe bring that guy out on its own, but that way if you bring out a few different conditioners and cleaners, you have it all out at once and you get the job done. So I'm gonna keep just rubbing this stuff in and making sure it's in every crack, but when you feel that you're done, I like to go ahead and hit it one more time with a horse brush. What that's gonna do for me, it's just gonna, it has those bristles and it's just gonna rough it into some of these areas, especially down into the welt and around these eyelets and speed hooks. We're gonna hit that tongue and I think the, the brush just does a good job of spreading it out really well. Now, if this is a boot that's really dried out, that's had no attention, at some point you can go ahead, maybe the next day if you feel it needs it and just do it again, I wouldn't be afraid to do that. You're gonna start growing a relationship with your boots, understanding leather in general, understanding the leather of your boots, and you'll know when they're dry or if they need more attention. Something I really like about the big four and the fact that it's not gonna change the color, you know, some of these conditioners and polishes have pigments. That pigmentation is gonna change these laces. Now these guys have some white laces. They pop really good. Of course, my Iron Rangers have that too. And if you want those to stay the same, then you're not gonna want to use any kind of pigmentation because it's just gonna, it's, it's gonna change it. And often with that laces, you, it's hard to go back from unless you get a really good cleaner and get it back out. But these boots are looking fantastic. So guys, I'm keen to know how you feel about Big Four. If you've had a good experience or bad, I'd love to know if there's a different conditioner out there that you recommend. If you just think there's something that's the bee's knees out there. If there's any kind of boots you wanna see us review on this channel, let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, we'd love for you to subscribe. That would be awesome to become a part of this gentleman's journey. But hey, until the next video, friends, God bless you. And don't forget to give those boots some love from time to time. We'll see you then.